So, who do we have here? I'm Jervis. Did you used to go to Wigmore High School? Yeah. So why are we here? Uh, to promote my project, which is uh, a comic book called Bad Dads. Sounds interesting. What's that influenced by? Um, it's influenced by my love of comic books and also uh, some, a sketch by Monty Python called The Four Yorkshiremen, uh, which is about like uh, people, these four guys trying to one-up each other and that's kind of the premise for Bad Dads. It's like these five kids um, sitting around a campfire and they're like, they're, it's, it's the type of stuff that like, you know, happens in real life. So it's, ba it's a little bit of realism. It's like, you know, you're just sitting around a campfire with your mates, just talking and because they're really young, they just, they just start talking about all the crazy stuff they're thinking about um, that topic is uh, bad dads and it's like you know sometimes you you just think your dad's really evil even though he's just a normal guy like this one kid thinks his dad's an art thief and then from there it's like the one upmanship comes into it my like that's bigger than your dad yeah you know I'll, you think your dad's bad my dad's trying to take over the world he's a mad scientist it's but it's all based on like the art thief is actually just an accountant, the mad scientist is just a chemistry, chemistry teacher. So it's not completely lies, but you can see how they've just taken it and gone crazy. It's about imagination, yeah. And bad dads, why bad dads? Is, is it anybody wants to make out they've had a tough, they're having a tough time, a bit like maybe the Yorkshire? Yeah, the Yorkshire sketch. And mm -hmm. it's, it's just like a, a thing people do, I think, like, you just, I don't know why, but people like to do that. They like to go like, you know, oh, I've got it even worse than you and just, you know, not, it's like almost bragging, but it's not because you're bragging about how bad your life is, but it's just, it, it, yeah, it's a fun thing that people do in real life, but just taken kind of to an extreme because it's young kids. So, um, what's the outcome for this? Is it film? Is it... Um, I, yeah, I'd, I'd like to do like a comic book and maybe like a film with some, well, just like some narration, mm -hmm. um, and yeah, and like I, I like I'm thinking about how I want to present it. Like I want to do on a screen on a big screen with the comic book that you can just flip through and then look at the screen, and that will have a guided view and some minor animation in it. So what, um, what processes are you exploring at the moment? Um, I've mainly been working in Photoshop, but I've also been working with uh, pe pencil on paper and then tr uh, tra tracing paper. So like, it's not a process that any of my artists have used like, recently. It's up. just one I kind of developed just over doing this project. And that's like, I'll, I'll do a rough storyboard and then I'll tighten that up on tracing paper and then I'll, with pen, and then I'll scan that into Photoshop and then it's, Photoshop's really nice because you can just like, start messing about and get it looking really sleek. Flexibility to me. Yeah. Well. Um, yeah, those are made, made the main processes I've been working in. I, I did want to um, look at working in clay, but mm. I've just, I've, time's kind of run out a bit. Yeah. How important is planning being to your project? Um, it's been, it's been quite important. Um, it was at the beginning, like just getting things planned out, but now it's just become like, just I I know what I've got to do. I've got I've had a plan in my head for quite a few weeks now. It's just been about like getting it done and just work, work, work. Mm -hmm. So um. Obviously, you're an art and design student. Still got some things to learn. Really, where where do you feel um, your work might be lacking? What could be improved or refined? Uh, I think my time management a bit, just because, like like I said, I know what I have to do, but sometimes it's just getting like the little daily things out, and it's it, it's motivation really, because like I love art and I love this project, but sometimes it's just like you know. When 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 I think about doing it, I'm like, oh no, I'm gonna come across a problem, and I'm gonna get worried about it. So there's been a lot of problem solving. Yeah.
And give me an example. Um, I, like the, the biggest problem I've had to solve is just like, because I, I had so many ideas at the beginning of the project and it's just been refining it and just getting it to the point where it is now and, and just pr prioritizing has been like the main problem solving I've been doing is just, I have to get this done, like I can't worry about the other things, I've got to get this done now, like you know, one at a time type of thing. And what, where, where are your strengths as an artist, finally? Um, I would say that like, pr probably my biggest strength is um, thinking about things and, and giving them a lot of thought instead of just, you, I like, I like abstract art and, and a lot of different art styles, but my, my favorite is is comic books and storytelling because like you can really uh, think about things and break them down. And that's kind of a, a strength I think I have is even just if it's a simple sketch of someone thinking about it, even if it's just a background, coming up with at least some reason for why I'm doing it. Mm -hmm. I don't like to just say, oh, I'll just do this just because. You want to make a story accessible to everybody as well? Yeah, I I try and, especially with bad dads, because it's like, it's just, it, it's kind of um, scary bad dads, because although it's a simple story, that makes it even harder, because you have to make it exciting and interesting. Um, so that's uh, that's kind of a strength I've had to use, is, is um, like thinking about, like, all the little things that's going on and trying to make it tight and trying to but make it fun as well, because you know, I know a lot of people are going to be looking at it. Even though it's aimed at younger readers, I know that like, when we show it the final thing, there'll be parents looking for it, looking for it and stuff. So I'd be yeah, trying to make it accessible. How does your work help people? Uh, I think, it, hopefully it just um, entertains them, uh, but I tr I've like, with Bad Dads, I've tried to make people I tried to throw in some, I guess, kind of commentary a little bit. I'm not like very good at that, but I've, I've, like, there's a dad, who, his his son's the youngest in the group, and he he has a very overactive imagination, and his dad was a war veteran, so obviously he knew his dad before the war as a nice guy, a normal guy, but then when he's come back after the war, he's been very changed. So now his son thinks he's been body snatched that when he went to war he had actually been abducted by aliens and he, that's why he's acting all weird now because he's just, he's, you know, he's, he's an alien. When the reality is... It's just, you know, his dad's just been through a hard time and, you know, just PTSD and all that kind of stuff. But I, I've tried not to go too serious with that, with this story, but there is a little bit of that. Mm -hmm. and Touch on trying to make and and people think about it and stuff. Brilliant. Is it going to be a success? Uh, if I get it finished, I think it, it it will be, but no, I will get it finished. I will get it finished. Yeah, I think it. I think it will be. Are we gonna look forward to it? Yeah, I. Even if it's not that finished, I hope that people are gonna. My my biggest hope is that people don't see it and go, oh, I've seen the idea before. I hope people find it original and new, new, unique. And yeah, take something away from it and enjoy it.